short video is about legal awareness in Solomon Islands. In making this video, we too will learn the importance of legal awareness, that is knowing what's right and knowing how and where to access justice. Legal awareness or public legal education is all about empowering of individual or people regarding issues involving the law. Legal awareness helps to promote conciseness of legal culture, participation in the formation of laws, and the rule of law. So legal awareness or legal literacy is a big part of what I do. So it's, it's programs or activities that are aimed at increasing understanding of people uh, in Solomon Islands. It's people who are out there in the communities. It's not and they are social and print media, community awareness programs, radio talk or talkback shows, the use of poster and pamphlets, and short videos which could be posted on YouTube. Legal awareness not only makes people know and understand their rights, but it enables people to know about the right authority to seek remedies to their problems that would concern their rights. Every person or human is entitled to certain rights simply because they are human beings. These rights are there for our protection against people who might want to harm or hurt us. They are also there to help us get along with each other and live in peace. This true legal awareness, people will recognize and know their rights and the legal responsibilities that comes with them. Legal literacy is not just about trainings, it's also about other methods or approaches that we can take to ensure that the, the information goes out. Um, so for example, we can have pamphlets, we can have booklets, we can have posters. Um, in we build the capacity so that the capacity so that they are there. If anybody needs information about um, you know they have a problem, they need help, they want to know where to go. So it's basically information about the law and accessing justice, then these people that we build the capacity of, we call them community facilitators, they are in the community and they can help with the needs. The law is, is, a, is a basically a set of guidelines that, um, that guides communities, guides people on how they can be productive or live together harmoniously. And so legal awareness makes them know about so I think in that sense, legal literacy or legal awareness is important. If you have a set of laws that affect you, or you have a set of laws that at some point might impact on your life if you get punished for doing something that's not according to the law. Justice for me is people knowing their rights and having their rights protected. Um, so I think legal literacy is a topic that you know is relevant for us currently especially with all the problems that we have, the high crime rates that we have, the problems that target the disadvantaged groups that we have. So we have women, children, persons with disabilities, elderly people, those in rural areas. I think with all those problems, having legal literacy is, is fundamentally um, something that needs to be improved, something that needs to be well coordinated uh, with both government and non-government. I think the first one is that we're not reaching out enough. Um, I think that's that's to do with our limited resources. So what I do know is that we have our legal agency, so that's 
the public services office that includes the, the office of the director of public prosecutions we also have the um, law reform commission they go out and they do awareness but if you look at the offices and the people that actually carry out the awareness there's not enough a lot of times they're not out there doing the literacy legal literacy because they don't have the funds to do it. so some concerns is that while we're calling it you know it's it, it's essential it's necessary there's not enough funds there's not enough resources that are allocated for it. the other concern i guess is there is a there is a trend and i think it's a really good thing where and my project is also doing it where we are building the capacity of uh, particularly community people uh, in some instances we're, do, we're using um, NGOs uh, and their affiliates in the communities. Um, I think a concern is that we have resources that ensure uh, and systems that ensure that the information that is going out is correct and that it's monitored so we don't have people who are on their own who are giving information that is wrong because that would be harmful. Two things one is the content of what is being shared. So the information about the law, access to justice, and so forth. Um, and I guess the other is, you know, how in terms of the outreach, are we reaching enough people? Are we getting out to people? So I think in terms of how the other one can be improved in terms of the outreach, uh, there can be, I guess, a, a systematic way where you have some sort of, I don't know, a, a committee or, or some arrangement of sorts where NGOs, government agencies that are out there doing legal literacy, they are coordinating their work. They're coordinating their work so that resources are shared out. And once you share resources, then we can reach all the provinces. I think it's well known that a lot of the work that we do out there with legal literacy um, and other programs as well, we're focusing on Malaita, Western Province and Guadalcanal Province. Um, and maybe Isabel and Timoto. So we're really looking at the accessible bigger provinces where you, you have an airport, a plane can fly in. Um, so I think it can be improved that there can be better coordination so we can reach out to all the provinces. In terms of the standard of the information that is being given out, given out with access to justice, I think there should be um, set guidelines that guide uh, the information that is going out. My project at the moment, we we have a set of what they call IEC materials, information education and communication materials. And we are we, we thought that when we developed the materials, they were you know good community products where you have anyone in the village, they pick up the pamphlet or the, the poster and that makes sense to them. But then we received feedback that it's the language is not is not something that's easy for community people to understand. So I think there should be, I, I know that in some countries they have a committee that looks at the information that you give out to communities to make sure that that information is accurate, that it's crafted in a way that it's useful for the community and that it includes the specific information that communities need. So we can be talking about the High Court. We only have a High Court in Honiara. That's not useful for the communities. When we go out, maybe it's about phone numbers to call the police and so forth. That's what I mean by useful information. We might be using words, you know, like institutions or, I don't know, constitution. And that's not useful for a member of the community. They need to know, you know, there is an office, you have this law. So making the information accessible to those in the community. Yeah, that's another way I think we can improve legal literacy and legal awareness. To conclude, we have learned that legal awareness empowers and strengthens people in understanding and knowing their legal rights and access to justice.